Hey guys, what's going on? Neverland here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, today's video is going to be kind of a response to the uh, Jewel video I posted recently. The, the reason I posted in the title that ARMS is not weak is because I've had so many people come up to me and tell me ARMS is really, really weak and they don't know how to do it, they don't know how to play, what they should do. They're thinking about re-rolling a new class and a lot of other things and kind of made me feel a bit upset and I kind of wanted to relate to you guys and kind of give you my feelings on how ARMS is performing currently right now as it stands. I wanted to kind of just give you guys just a small bit of motivation, that's what the ARMS Warrior Jewel video was for, was to give you guys the motivation to say ARMS isn't as weak as people think it is. Now I admit that say one or two people in the video were um, probably not the best players. At the end of the day I chose and jeweled everyone out there that wasn't cheating obviously like using glass and potions and stuff like that and just just duel them you know and just try to get a video because to actually duel and get a lot of good players that are like rank one or whatever would take you probably a couple of weeks and i don't have weeks to make a video now if i'm going to make a say the best of each class kind of video they're the kind of videos where you're going to see more higher rated players or people that have probably more skill involved in their play so don't take anything you've seen as like just just don't take it as law or whatever you know anyways let's get into the actual video where i want to talk about today and that's that arms we're going to go through each area and then i'm going to tell you guys what i feel like they can improve on each area so the first thing i'm going to talk about is bgs now what do i think about bgs right now i feel like arms it was probably doesn't need as much maybe we do but we don't i mean we got victorious right now which is pretty decent now what i feel like they could change is they can make arms charge they can make it have like a 13 second or even 15 seconds uh, passive rather than what it is at the moment which is 20 seconds which I feel is way way too long as it currently stands. Uh, honestly classes like monks, arcane mages, demon hunters um, have way too much mobility as it stands. Even a lot of other classes are getting more mobility like uh, rep paladins getting a sprint and uh, what was it enhanced shamans got a charge recently so I feel like things like that is kind of making arms kind of fall the back burner because we have still have a 20 second charge which is pretty ridiculous when you think about it there's no way of resetting a charge cooldown and we have to pick double time because of the fact that we want more mobility but then we're learning of lacking a stun and then as it currently stands arms need stuns so we kind of we're picking it's like trying to pick between like for instance like say mage using a blink or his fireball you know it's, it's, it just feels like the same thing and it's really really strange for warriors right now i really feel like bringing it down to 15 seconds would definitely fix what warriors are lacking right now as regards to arenas right now we're actually doing pretty well and the 15 second charge would also complement arenas especially tribute tree arenas we're doing really well in tribute tree arenas they could definitely do with giving us a slightly quicker charge i mean as we because we're getting tired a bit in the arenas and it kind of makes it really hard because we're waddling towards mobs sending them roots and it just it doesn't feel good it just, just doesn't feel good now i do realize that we had warbringer last season and it kind of was 20 seconds as well but it, I, I just feel like that with the wreck the fact that we don't have a stun charge anymore kind of makes it so that we don't really need to have a 20 second charge anymore if you can bring it down to 15 seconds and give us that extra mobility that we quite clearly need right now we're still in the good spot on rbgs as well and uh, yeah we, we don't really need too much improvements it's pretty similar to the bgs now the last area i want to talk about which is war pvp uh which kind of goes into jewels and i kind of feel like jewels are kind of what same kind of thing of war pvp we kind of need a bit more healing as it stands in that kind of situations especially in duels because when you're in a situation where you're fighting someone and they're kiting you or anything like that you're going to need some sort of sustainability to keep yourself alive where it stands, someone could like say Assassination Rogue, Survival Hunter, uh, Feral Druid, or and mostly any class that's level large dots, or even class that have range, they just kite you around and do damage. And there's not a lot you can do as a warrior. And I feel like a bit more mobility, a bit more sustained healing, like maybe even just like some, like uh, just a suggestion. And this is not like a definite bread and butter thing, but like maybe make it so when we have like use 20 rage or something like that for like 15% of our health which would be pretty pretty nice uh maybe you make have like a 10 15 second cooldown and something i don't know something stupid like that or even give us a conversion kind of a build that converts rage into 
health or something like that just making us feel a little bit more better in sense that we have more healing there's a stance that current touch exactly as is not as strong as i'd like it to be kind of needs a bit of adjusting and i just think it's not where it needs to be and it's kind of just a waste in actually putting talents in it because nine percent heal for more strike is probably 20 25k maybe 30k maximum which is not a lot you know people are healing for 150 to 200 k's for one heal which costs 1.5 seconds or something stupid like that and it's just not it's not on par with the classes and it's just not cool maybe you can give us a death strike ability or something i don't know something that can bring us back into more of a competitive 1v1 situation uh it wouldn't really change the range too much because you're just gonna target and just do damage which way most times warriors die anyways so yeah, like that's how I feel about Warriors right now and Arenas and all that other good stuff and how I feel like they should improve the class in general and all the good things that they can make the class just feel a bit better than the current is. Uh, so what do I feel about the class in general? I feel like we're pretty strong, but not as strong as we could be. We're semi-par somewhere in the middle like we've always been. We're never too strong in any situation. In Arenas though, with Tribute 3, we're probably top tier right now. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I queued up a few things that you guys have been talking about and hopefully I kind of like resolve some issues on what you guys have been thinking. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is Evan I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.